Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So um, in today's video we're going to be covering these kind of betting gambling questions essentially um, because it's a concept that a lot of people might not be familiar with which hopefully is a good thing because don't bet, don't gamble. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, this is one of the sets that I've seen pop up a couple of times on Medify and I think you guys put it in the um, Google Docs as well. So thank you for that. And so I thought I would go over it really briefly um, and talk about the important ideas here. Okay, so let's have a read this question. So a betting company has an offer for new customers when a £20 bet is placed and the outcome decided, a free £8 bet can then be placed. However, the £8 free bet would not be included in the winnings if the free bet wins. So if a gambler wins £1 from the free £8 bet, they would only keep the winnings from the free bet, which is the £1, and they would not be able to keep the £8 free bet amount, which kind of makes sense because I guess they never put in that original £8 because it was free. Betting odds are given in the form of X over Y, where X is the proportion of the win and Y is the proportion of the stake. A winning gambler receives both the winning value back and the stake back. So if a winning £30 bet was placed at odds of 2 to 1, the total money received is 2 over 1, so 2 times 30 divided by 1, okay? Plus your original 30, which is 60 plus 30, which equals 90. Although the money received would be 90, the winnings would only be 60 as the gambler had 30 to start with. The 30 is known as the stake. A losing gambler will lose their stake. A second example. If a winning £10 bet was placed at odds of 3 over 2, the total money received will be 3 times 10 divided by 2. So it's always going to be this number. It's always the odds times what your stake is in order to figure out what your winnings is, as well as the uh, original stake that you put in. Okay. So basically, just to summarise, if you win, you will get your stake plus your winnings, which is calculated as stake times odds so in this example here it would have been the 10 pound times three over two and then your stake is your original 10 pounds okay if you lose you lose your stake that's it right so if i put 10 pound in i lose 10 pounds okay so although the money received would be 25 the winnings would only be 15 so the gambler had 10 to start with so let's try and understand this so susie plays the 20 pound bet on odds of two to one she wins this bet so if she wins it she wins 20 pound plus your origin, plus the winnings of 2 over 1 times 20, which is 20 plus 40, which is 60 pounds. Okay? So, she places her free £8 bet on odds of 6 to 5. She loses this bet. How much does she win in total? Because since she loses it and it's a free bet, right, we don't even have to consider it. So how much does Susie, Susie win in total? And it says this is her winnings only. But remember, if we want winnings only, we want just this bit here. Does that make sense? And so it's for that reason that it's going to become £40. Okay? Cool. Okay, great. So, on to the next question. Um... Okay, so how much does Sonny win in total on these two bets? Okay, so let's have a look at this one. Places a £20 bet and loses. So for the £20 bet, he just loses £20. Okay, places his free £8 bet at odds of 7 to 8, he wins the bet. So with the free £8 bet, that's a win. So with that win, remember, he would have kept the original, remember, it's stake plus winnings. But because this is a free bet, there is no stake because this is a free bet. So the only winnings you get are £8 times 7 over 8, which is £7. Okay, so the losses should not be included in the answer, so it's just going to be £7. So on to the next one. So hopefully you guys have got the idea behind this by now. So... Jen places a £20 bet on odds of 3 to 1, and then she wins, and she plays a free £8 bet, and she wins as well. How much does she win in total? This is a winnings only rather than total. So once again, the first win is going to be £20, because that's the stake, because remember, it's stake plus winnings, so that's £20, plus 3 over 1 times £20, which is £20 plus £60. So I guess I didn't I really have to include the stake each time, but I'm just doing it to illustrate the point, so it's £60. And then this is the win again, but this time with the free bet. So wins are stakes plus winning. But of course, we have no stake here because this is a free bet. So it's just the winnings and that's going to be eight. Eight pound times 11 over eight. So eight times 11 over eight is 11 pounds. So that's, oh, that's just going to be 
11 pounds. And so therefore, if you add up both of these values, the 60 plus the 11, you get 71 pounds. Okay, so the answer is 71 pounds. Okay. So last question. Um, so I kind of just made this one up. So James places a bet of thirty pound and odds of three to two and wins. Then he places a free bet of eight pounds and odds three to three to eight and loses. Trying to recoup his money, he places a bet of sixteen and odds of six to eight and wins. What is his total winnings? Okay. So so in the first one, you he wins. So therefore he gets once again it's stake plus the winnings. So he gets thirty times 3 over 2, which is going to be £45. The second bet, he loses. So we actually don't need to calculate it at all because we're just worried about the total winnings. So you can see, whilst it looks long, you don't even have, there's not that even, it's not even that bad to do. So then we just have the calculator for the second one. So this is a bit of a trick question because it says in here, trying to recoup his money, but he actually never loses any money because it's a £8 bet. Um, so stake of £16 and it's going to be 16 times 6 over 8. Um, so his winnings, therefore, is going to be £12 here, £45 there. So in total, it's going to be £57. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. So this video is a little bit shorter than normal, but I just wanted to go through um, some key examples here because I think these questions can trip up people, but they're not necessarily as hard um, as they appear to be. Okay, so if you do, if you enjoyed this video, please do comment, like, share, and subscribe, and um, I'll see. You